Hello, it's Sunday today. Um, yesterday we went to B&Q just to get lots of different colour samples because we want to repaint the kitchen and my office. And just overall, if there are any tears and wears around the house, we just want to give it a quick splash because um, spring is just around the corner and we have invited a couple of our friends to come up and stay. And I just want to make the whole place a little bit more fresh. So yeah, we actually took quite a lot of, well, can't speak. We actually haven't filmed anything this week. So actually speaking in front of the camera is really difficult. You can't even pronounce any words, um, let alone speaking. Anyway, um, collect quite a few color samples. Um, it's actually super, super, super confusing and a lot harder than you think when you have to choose or match the precise color. There's just so many different shades of white. LP has been hanging out with this tennis ball all the time and I have absolutely no idea why. She's resting her tennis ball head on the tennis ball. So lately we've been watching a lot of movies by Hong Kong's king of comedy, Stephen Chow. I would say his signature slapstick and deadpan style is known as mole tao which means without a head in Cantonese. This type of humour is literally nonsense, using a combination of wordplay, anachronisms, and tossing lots of different drama elements together that will make you simply go, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> Highly recommend you to check out his work. His film has not only made me, but millions of people laugh so much that would probably make you want to die. Um, you won't be disappointed. Wow, this hair is um, extraordinary. I look like a turkey. Um, it's Monday today, and I have just finished a bunch of stuff that I've been putting off doing for a really long time, like archiving all the commission projects and clearing out my computer desktop. I've got so much files on my desktop, I couldn't even see the wallpaper. Um, updating my Trello board and backing up all those audio files on my Zoom mic and getting all my work together for my website. There is quite a lot and um, 
I just want to say I don't have any energy for it somehow. I just can't seem to get into competing anything at the moment and I've just been having such a difficult time staying focused and I just feel really tired all the time and exhausted and especially when there were just so many things that are happening right now um, simultaneously across the globe. I mean this hair is just absolutely mental. Um, so yeah I was messing about on the synth the other day and I just can't help to think wow when I'm doing this right now a country that isn't too far away from me is completely on fire and it makes me question what is this music that I'm making for? What is the point in this? Um, very very harsh on myself of course but it also reminds me, it also makes me remember a paragraph that I have read by a writer called Marie Andrew and in the paragraph she mentioned that there's always somebody here celebrating, let's say, moving into a house with their cocktail glasses in one hemisphere when somebody else is here are actually crying, losing a home and, well, someone else is celebrating birth and somebody else is, is going through mourning um, and grieving and the fact that suffering and dignity and all this happiness, wonderful things, they all coincide to one place. Sometimes it could be very unbearable and but at the same time very remarkable and so that paragraph resonates with my thought at the time and I thought I would mention it. Um, I really, really want some cookies now, so I'm going to make some. Whilst we are on the topic of cookies, my friend Hoon had just started a cookie business called Toki Toki. She handmakes all these incredible bespoke cookies that taste as delicious as they look, I swear. And all her packaging materials are recyclable and really great for gifting or just for yourself. Highly recommend you to check out her shop on Etsy. And as you can see, LP is absolutely loving her self-portrait cookies here. Yes! <laughs> I basically just chopped off a fig and a couple of berries and just put passion fruit on top and I'm going to have this with yogurt. This is where I normally shoot all my projects. Uh, I am using our dining room as um, a studio because there's just a lot of daylight and it just seems like a perfect place to 
shoot content and um, I want to quickly show you from this side as well you can see there's lots of um, daylight but yeah um, what we are going to do today actually is to clean this up because um, we have some friends coming over this weekend and we want to make it a bit more social friendly. <laughs> a couple of nights ago we were watching TV and then I turn around and I can see somebody's, I can see certain movement and I didn't really quite know what I was looking at until I really turned my head around and I can see somebody doing this mouth thing. What is this mouth thing that you were doing? What is this mouth know. thing that you're doing? I guess, in a way, you're trying to capture it now. <laughs> um, can't see it, it's too, too bright. It's not actualized yet. But it was something to do with his hands going like, ooh, really gross, really, really horrible. No idea why you were doing it. It's not good. Can you just do, do it again, just to show what has happened? sad when you see the sun goes down. I do. I feel like I've lost something. I think it has something to do with the passage of time, the knowledge that another day has gone by. You're one day older, your family and friends, your pets are all one day older, and they are all going to die. Ironically, the only way for us to get out of this sadness is to completely immerse ourselves in it. Something about actually breathing the cold air and watching the sky changes makes it a little bit more bearable. So, have the orange skies to yourself. It's a fascinating time to remind yourself that we are all going to die anyway. You might as well enjoy it. Goodbye.
Mm -hmm. So this guy is reviewing cars and he's wearing a car t-shirt and he has a traffic light in the corner. Okay. And what are the, all those things on the wall? Hello. We are going to the National Stone Centre today and I will bring you along with me. Mm -hmm. It's Friday night and I'm making a very exciting drink to celebrate this evening, end of the week. I've been feeling quite unwell for the past couple of days, so I'm trying to <clears throat> just stay in and <clears throat> make myself feel a bit better if I can. And I'm just waiting for my lemon sip to brew in this um, Quinto cup, which is my favorite cup. Anyway, um, Kyle is out tonight and I made myself some dinner just now. And uh, I was looking, I really fancy something sweet. So I said to myself, maybe why don't I just bake something? That's kind of a form of looking after yourself, isn't it? So I uh, went to the kitchen and just kind of got this book, which is, um, I want to show you because I actually got a copy for Kyle's cousin as well. And um, yeah, it's really good. One second. <clears throat> So it's um it's this book. Can you see? Step by step guide. And it's actually so thorough and clear on what you need to do. Look at this. It's all the ingredients there and then show you step by step on how to make them. Absolutely wonderful. This is just exactly what I need. Isn't it really nice to have daylight still? <laughs> This line of daffodils really funny. <laughs> it's um, 
a bit like when people are waiting for you at the airport. I'm just out for a quick walk. This is actually about 10 seconds away from our house. Um, but I think I have forgotten to lock the front door properly. So there might be a chance where LP is going to escape and she's not meant to be going out at this moment. Um, so I have to go back and check. But I just want to quickly show you, this is a spot that uh, we always come to when we need a bit of fresh air because it's so close to our house. So lucky to be able to live somewhere with a forest and it's super peaceful here as well. It's Sunday, no, this is an Easter weekend and absolutely nobody's here. Um, yeah, um, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. It's another very long one again, but uh, I don't mind. I mean, I hope you don't mind watching it, <laughs> but yeah. Thank you so much for watching this week's vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye! I've locked the door so it's no point for me to come back. Ridiculous.